the biggest difference between public speaking and everyday conversation is that giving a speech requires a lot of preparation and it's much more formal. Part of that formality is you need to have supporting evidence. Supporting evidence at your command for your ideas or your main talking points. A good place to start after writing out your three main talking points in complete sentences is to find supporting evidence for each point. Best practices would be to find a variety of supporting evidence for each talking point. It's better to have too much information than not enough. First, try defining a term for the audience. Make sure you're all on the same page about what you're talking about by defining it with information from the most credible source that you can find. Hint, that is probably not an online dictionary, but rather a professional organization or a government organization. Next, for each talking point, find an example. Give the audience an example of what you're talking about in a single sentence. This not only improves audience comprehension, but it helps them connect your point to their real world experience. Next, try finding a statistic that relates to the point you're trying to make. A statistic is information that is given numerically. When using statistics, you wanna follow some rules. Use them sparingly, try to explain them, maybe even show them with infographics or visual aids. And finally, contextualize your example. Build it into your speech. Don't just drop it and move on. Another very effective type of evidence that I like is testimony. Either expert testimony by a credible source or peer testimony, peer testimony from someone who has experienced your topic. Some peer testimony can even play a larger part in your speech if you share a narrative of someone's experience as your topic. For example, you might share peer testimony as a story in your introduction. If you do a lot of research, you might quickly realize that you might have too much information for the length of your speech, and that's okay. Remove the information that doesn't advance your purpose and your talking points. The point is you want to leave the most powerful supporting evidence to support your claims. Once you've added that supporting evidence, you're ready for the next step, planning how you will verbally cite your sources.